All right, back here with the Zebra GK420D. In the last video, I talked about some issues where you can adjust the speed and that would help when it kind of freezes up. This video, I'm gonna cover a few more, the most common issues. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments and I'll make a follow-up video for the issues you're having. Other than that, let's get to it. So the first issue is going to be alignment. So we'll push one out. Most common is going to be where the label skips this first part. Less common is going to be an issue with the width, right? So, for alignment issues, you press it once, watch it flash or blink once. There's two times. And that's gonna fix most of your issues. But really that's only measuring the length. The other option is for the width. We'll hold it once, it'll blink once. Continue to hold it two times. There's three, there's four, five, six, and seven. And what seven is going to do is the width. So a quick correction. The seven flashes on this particular model is actually going to manually calibrate the length. And that's kind of obvious with this. Got to get back to my research and figure out what model that was actually for. But for this one, that's what's going on with the seven flashes. It's manual cal calibration. And you'll use this when you have pre-printed material. Blank labels. You can allow it to auto calibrate on its own by holding it down with the two flashes and releasing. But more importantly, it's important to check your settings in the computer because that will override whatever's going on in the printer. And to be sure that if you're printing on four by six or four by six and a little extra, more often than not, there's gonna be a little gap because it's actually like the millimeters is not exactly four by six. So that's the place to check. And I'll throw those numbers on the screen right now. And there are other ways to do the calibration for the width where you allow it to print and you stop it when the print looks the way you want. If that's something you want to explore, let me know in the comments and I'll make a follow up video for that. Since width is usually not the issue and it's the length, we'll go ahead and keep moving as planned. All right, the next common issue is faded print. This is a lot of times it happen towards the edge. It might be all the way through or it might be streaks. So what you do for that, we'll go ahead and get this out of the way. The print head here, this is what's going to print the image. So you gotta make sure it's clean. And I've even seen some people with alignment issues where one side is lower than the other. And you can just take a popsicle stick or something thin and push it in. Make sure your two connectors are all the way in and adjust it until it's straight. You can pop this out and do a deep clean, but that's usually not necessary unless you've had a pretty bad jam. The other thing to check is in this area here. So to do that, I'm going to pop these two black tabs up and then down there there can be some fragments of a label that's going to cause some print issues and you can usually take some rubbing alcohol and clean this up really nice as well as the print head and then we have a sensor here you want to make sure that's clean at all times as well Sometimes this gear pops off, so that's something to keep in mind when you're working on it and when you're reassembling. And to put it back in, it just sits back down. The gear goes back on the same side, obviously, and then push this down. And to the left, to the right and down, and you're back in there. And you can uh, go ahead and do another print. Now they make pads that you can run through your printer and that will clean it 
the whole thing for you. It's, in my opinion, easier and more thorough to just take a Q-tip, dip it in some rubbing alcohol, especially if you've been using your printer for a while because you can get a lot of buildup around here. And with that, you can pinpoint where it is and get it all the way out. Those cleaning pads are really good for preventative maintenance just to keep everything clean. But to clean up a mess, Q-tip is the best way to go. All right, and for the last one, we're gonna talk about the flashing light. Now, there are several different meanings for this, but the most common one is a flashing red light. This status is called stopped. And what this means is that your lid is open or you ran out of labels. More than likely, you ran out of labels. To fix these, obviously you shut it if the lid is open or you change out your labels if you're out. Now there are a lot of other ones, like I said, I'll run through them real quick. You can have the no light, which is your power. You can see if your cord came unplugged or something like that. You have solid green, no issue there, all good to go. You have a solid amber, which is going to also mean that it stopped. That one, your printer failed to turn on. There's a couple issues there, and I'll link all these down below, and you can check them out and reference them when you need to. There's also a flashing green and a flashing red. The flashing green is normal. Flashing red is stopped. Uh, that was the most common one, like I just said. You have a double flashing green, which is paused. Also a flashing amber, which is also paused. The green just means you need to push the feed button. The um, flashing amber it means that the printing is going to stop and cool the print head down. And the last three is going to be a alternating flashing green and red. It means your printer needs service. Flashing red, red, green also needs service. And then the last one is a flashing red, amber, and green. This one means your printer is a is performing a memory defragmentation. Don't do anything. Definitely do not turn off or reset your printer. All right, once again, I'll have these linked in the description. All right, that covers all three of the most common issues. If I missed anything you're dealing with, please let me know in the comments. If this video helped you out, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Whatever you feel like doing. In the description, we got a coupon. You go check out our website, pick up some labels, and we'll see you in the next one.